Hey guys, uh, Glenn Trayer, Trayer Wilderness. Um, as you can see, we got a lot of snow. Uh, about we have a little over two foot um, of snow, and I was thinking because of trapping and everything. You know, I always carry like a 22 rifle with me just in case you know see something, or and I use it to dispatch my animals. Um, and I was always having snow get down in my uh, scope, and I didn't have the money to go buy co scope covers and stuff. I know they were cheap, but I just didn't didn't have the money and didn't want to spend the money because um, I'm cheap that way. <laughs> um, I got to thinking, man, I got to come up with something. I had used Ziploc bags, small Ziploc bags, and put over the top and dipped them shut of the scope, and you know, like down over here and I got thinking man what can I use that would work to do that and I uh, got to thinking like, huh and it just popped in my head uh, thank the Lord for the ideas he gives me inner tube what I got here is a truck truck inner tube um, and what I'm doing is I'm going to take and cut, measure back here off the edge and cut, cut it up and, uh, put that over top of my scope. Like they make those, what are they, gumbarellas or something like that, I guess they're called, something like that. Um, I think this will work just, just the same way and just as good, if not better. Um. One thing I will caution is with an inner tube, you want to make sure it didn't have any calcium in it. Um, make sure there was no calcium in that or you'll have some major problems. Um, or if it does, you make sure you clean it up. I wouldn't advise using it. So I'm going to get the camera turned around here, show you what I'm doing, show you how I'm cutting it out and everything, and then uh, I'll be right back with you here. Okay, hopefully you can see this and hear this okay. What I'm using is, just like I said, this old truck tire inner tube. Um, and what I'm doing is I'm just taking and I'm measuring using a Sharpie. This is a, a big... Um, like tin snips. You could use a uh, utility knife to do this, um, but I'm just using this big tin, tin snips. So what I'm doing is I'm just measuring back here, and obviously, you depending on the size of the uh, um, scope you have, you might need a longer inner tube or a, a wider one, or the width of your scope cover might be different. You know, it just depends on the scope. I'm making this one two and three quarters. So all I'm doing is marking that. And then I'm coming back here. Two and three quarter. Now, should have some other kind of marker. But that's alright. I should have a longer thing too. But we're just going to kind of line this up. make a line I don't know if you can see that line or not in the camera but then all I'm doing is taking and running this right up the line a little off the line there but that'll be okay try and keep it even as you go go up now you can see that off just a little bit there, so I'm just going to trim that off a little. And there you go. Um, and that's all there is to it. Really not much much to it. I'm going to take and uh, turn this camera and I'll show you how it fits on and everything. Okay. 
hauls I'm doing is uh, I got this rag and I'm just cleaning this up a little bit. There's like a film on the inside of these things. To be honest with you, I'm not 100% sure what that film is. It's just some kind of coating. Um, just try and use a damp rag and wipe that off. It might not hurt to use some kind of a cleaner to clean it. Um, definitely wouldn't hurt. Just clean that off real good. And then, I guess it would have helped if I had grabbed the gun. And then just grab the gun and you can take this, put it over the end of the scope. There you go. Got your own uh, scope cover right there. And all you got to do is take it off and just grab this top and boom. You got a scope cover. Didn't cost you nothing. You know, most of these vehicle places that change out tires and stuff like that will have spare inner tubes floating around and uh, just uh, go there and ask them for one so well hope you uh, enjoyed this and you got something out of it um, I know I haven't made a video for a while kinda rusty <laughs> Um, but uh, hopefully everybody's doing well out there and like I said hopefully you got something out of this till uh, I get to get another one made video made uh, take care God bless and see you on the next one have a good one guys